High Notion is. Just a quick video today to show you something really uh, interesting that I've learned quite recently, thanks to Ben Smith's tips on using Notion. And to show you how this works, we're in a Notion page now, which is the page that I used for my old website. And if we click on this link here, which is linking to another page in my Notion workspace, that is going to open the page for us in Side Peak. We could also configure this to open the page in Center Peak as well. So it's allowing you to use that same functionality that you would have seen if you had worked with Notion database views before, but it's giving you the peak option for any of the pages, for any of your links, wherever you are in your Notion workspace. Uh, so basically to give you the backstory, um, Notion added some functionality to the app recently for their own use, uh, which enables you to open pages in side peak or center peak mode from anywhere in your workspace, whether those pages are pages from a database or not. So if you are doing something like sharing glossary definitions in a database and you wanted to hyperlink text so that someone can click on the term and see the definition from your glossary database, then they would be able to do that really easily once you've set this feature up. It's a little bit fiddly to configure though. Uh, basically, you can see Ben's guide here which is showing you that you need to copy the link to your page and then also copy the ID of the page that you want to open in center peak or side peak mode. And then you might need to add this URL parameter to the end of your link as well if you wanted the page to open in side peak mode rather than center peak mode. So you probably won't be surprised to hear what I've done is I've created an Apple shortcut which you can use to generate these links really easily and I'm just going to show you how you can use that in this video. So if we go to my old Notion pages that I had been using for my website before I switched to Webflow, this would have been my home page and here at the top of the page we've got a link to the page describing my services as a Notion certified consultant. And if we click into this page now you can see that obviously that opens the page in full page view. So in order to open this page in side peak instead so that the visitor who's on my website doesn't get sent straight to this page they can just have a quick look at it check it out and open it in full page view if they want to all we need to do is first of all click the share button here make sure the web page is shared to the web uh, if you want external users to be able to access your link or if not then obviously you can just choose the copy link option from down here or just copy the URL from your URL bar. But I do want this to work when people are viewing this link from the web. So if we copy web link there, and then go back to the previous page, all I need to do now is click the Apple shortcuts uh, link in my menu bar. And what I've done is I've added my shortcut to the menu bar so that I can access it nice and easily like this. If I click on that shortcut, and then choose side peak as my option. That's gonna copy the link which I need to my clipboard. And then if we highlight this link and we replace that link with the link to my page. So I'll just copy that from my clipboard now, paste that into there. And you can see we've got the ID of the page that we're linking to and also that URL parameter at the end of the link which is what defines the peak mode that we're going to be using. Um, hit return there and then click out of that. Then that's all we need to do. And if I click that link now, there you go, opens inside peak. So I hope this shortcut is going to make creating those sorts of links nice and easy for you uh, and speed up that whole process. This is a feature that I hope Notion adds to their app, but in the meantime, uh, I'll be using it quite a bit, I think, and that shortcut's going to save me a fair bit of time. So just let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments and stay tuned for more Notion tips and automations, which I'll be sharing very soon.